What is happening, everybody? Welcome to our live today. This one's going to be a little bit different. Greg, what are you doing? I'm being entertained. No. Entertaining. How about, how about not there? It, because this is awkward, you standing over my shoulder, and I'm, I've got a lot right down that I'm trying to do. But, but, but I got my Red High Hawk shirt. Greg. I got my Papa Bear mug. I got my Edwin shirt. I got my LT Rock Nation. I'm ready to be entertained. It's a good day. Still, I'm eating your popcorn, too, now. All right, anyways, now that that's out of the way. What is happening, folks? This one's going to be a little bit different. So we're going to do a short live video today um, to, to show you guys our new Hybel releases and reveals. So um, these are going to be really cool. So these are some brand new custom ballast songs that we just got in from Adam Hybel. They're really awesome. We've got some other stuff to talk about today, too, as well. Before we get started, though, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring that notification bell so you will know when we drop new videos and go live like this. We've got a lot of people in the chats with us. we got Jason Brown. we got Matt Phillips. we got Mike Curtis. we got Gonzo Reviews. we got Knives Fast, KC out there. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun, y'all. So we're going to answer some of your questions. We're going to go over these brand-new Hybel knives. Now, tell you what, without further ado, why don't we light it up? All right, folks, we are back. Now, first and foremost, uh, with everything that's going on around here, um, if you guys haven't heard, uh, we've got some wildfires going on in, um, in this county uh, again, um, out in Wares Valley this time, uh, Hatcher Mountain. And uh, so far, it is, uh, it is affected quite a bit. Uh, over, uh, right at 1,000 structures, uh, I believe, is what it's up to. Um, I know it's uh, just over 3,700 acres burned so far. And uh, our thoughts and our prayers go out to everyone in that area. Uh, and we just hope and pray that everyone's safe. Also, our thoughts and prayers are with our first responders and our firefighters out there. Um, we've got a lot of different agencies out there working on fighting this fire right now. We've got about 5% containment, and uh, we're still working towards uh, getting that uh, fixed. And we, we want our thoughts and our prayers to go out to all of them and want everyone to know that because uh, it's a bad deal, folks. I mean, we've been through this before in this area, and it's, uh, it's not a good thing. Um, it is, uh, it, it's, it's very bad. So, uh, just keep those people in your thoughts and in your minds and in your hearts. Uh, that's all we ask right there. So now, um, as most of you know, if, if you joined in on our live last week, uh, you know that we went down to Georgia. We spent the weekend down in Georgia. Great. Gre <laughs> yes. Greg is still giving me a hard time for going live for an hour and a half last week. Um, but, uh, yeah, we went down to Georgia and, uh, spent the weekend down there, uh, with Georgia Bushcraft, the, uh, campfire co-op and, uh, got to meet and greet and talk with a lot of people. Got some really great content. Um, we got to meet three contestants from the TV show alone, the alone series. Um, and that was really fascinating and really interesting to hear. Um, Carly Fairchild, Larry Roberts and, uh, Jordan Belt, they, uh, all were awesome to talk to about that experience and that was that was a lot of fun a lot of fun so um we're really excited uh, about that content coming out we also got to spend some time with lt Wright, um shane and patrick from sc uh we also got to spend a lot of time with um, casey from uh, georgia bushcraft bushcraft coffee uh, griffin pocket tool um, the guys from wazoo uh, casey culver from red-eyed hog and um I mean, just a lot of great experience. Anthony Awaken, he was out there with us as well. Um, and uh, Rick Stowe, a lot of different people. Uh, also, Taylor Martin from Best Damn EDC. We got to see him out there. He actually made it, uh, was not broke down. He was good to go. Um, and uh, so him and his buddy Joe there from uh, Concord, North Carolina. And, uh, yeah, beautiful leather work from Joe. So, we got some really cool stuff for you today, um, and we've got a lot of content coming from that trip. A lot of interesting uh, new updates coming from that trip, uh, including some new br new brands that uh, we're working on right now, um, from LT Wright and Woods Monkey, all of that stuff. So, 
stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of really cool stuff on the horizon. Today, though, we've got some brand new battle songs, and these things are freaking awesome. We're going to check them out right here, right now. And uh, so, first off, if you've watched the channel for any length of time, uh, last year uh, we did get some highballs in. Um, now, these are all one of a kind. Each one of them is individual um, and different from another, and there's no two that are identical. There's no two that are the same. The finishes are different. Um, all the blade steels, all the handle materials are the same, and they're the same model, but the finishes are all very different. We've got 20 of them here. We're going to take a look at all of them, um, but these are going to be the Hybel Menace Customs, and uh, these are really cool ballast songs right here. Awesome blade shape. That's the Menace b blade shape right there. Um, let's take a look at these up close and see how beautiful these things are. <clears throat> now, we're going to go over the specs here. Each one of these comes with its own certificate of authenticity that has its serial number, its model number on it. And it's also got all of the specs on it. Now, these uh, certificate of authenticities are all metal cards. These are metal cards that are etched, laser etched right there. So really cool right there. You can hear it. Yeah. So metal cards. And um, we're going to go over all the specs on these. So um, the handle length on these is 5.625 inches. Handle width is 0.45 to 0.575 inches. Um, handle thickness, 0.475. The handle material here is 6AL4V titanium. And uh, for those of you that aren't uh, familiar with 6AL4V, um, it is a uh, grade 23, very similar to grade 5. Um, but it is used quite a bit in prosthesis. It is used quite a bit in surgeries. It's nice for that because it is extremely corrosion resistant, doesn't react to uh, the fluids and stuff like that inside the body. It's also non-magnetic, uh, so you can have this uh, in a prosthesis and still not, uh, and still be able to go through like an MRI or an X-ray or something like that. So you don't have to worry about things like that. It's also so strong that it's used quite often in firearm suppressors and things like that. So it's extremely strong and extremely lightweight. Um, as far as weight to strength ratio, it's it's right up top there, and it's also used a lot in the aeronautics industry. Um, so 6AL4V titanium is uh, is a phenomenal titanium, uh, a great material, and like I said, extremely lightweight. Um, and this thing is really really cool, a and it's running on washers, and it is super super smooth. This thing is insane. I mean, I'm digging this. I, I am not a flipper at all. Um, that's all I can do. I can open it and I can close it, and that's about it. But these things are so smooth, and they feel so good in the hand. And this is one of the finishes right here. So this is the green anodized finish. And we're going to go through and show you all the different finishes that we have in these knives. So the next one up is my favorite, and I call this one the Joker. Um, because, And I don't know if it's you can really see it on that camera. We're going to take a look at it up close here. So you can see... The green is on the inside. The, the outer level, the outer uh, surface is going to be purple right there. And just a really, really cool finish on that one right there. Absolutely dig that. Um, and uh, flip that open right there. Now, the blade steel is coming in with RWL, 20, uh, RWL 34. Excuse me. RWL 34. Now, um, a lot of people aren't familiar with RWL 34. Not a lot of knife makers use it. It's used mainly in customs. Um, it is made uh, by Damasteel in Sweden, and um, property-wise, it's it's very very similar um, in its chemical makeup to CPM one fifty four, and it's it's very very similar uh, in its uh, properties and and its its durability as well to CPM one fifty four. Um, very similar to that. It is a powdered steel. It is also what Damasteel uses for their Damascus Damasteel knives. Um, they combine that with a another alloy that they have to make their uh, Damasteel products. Um, but this one's made by Damasteel in Sweden, RWL 34. Um, really fantastic uh, blade steel there. Um, it is stainless um, and just... 
phenomenal, phenomenal knife right there. And Adam Heibel does an incredible job. And that's just another one of the finishes right there. So we've also got, and these are really cool right here. We were talking about this, Greg and I were um, beforehand, about the methodology of, of getting this gradient pattern on this. And, and to, to get that so smooth like that, um, as far as the anodizing goes, and we're going to show that one up close as well. Um, so to get that gradient so smooth, what you have to do is as you, uh, so you start off by dipping this in the solution that you're uh, anodizing in, and then you gradually pull it out. And so the parts that are in there the longest, you, you have to know uh, exactly the, the level of electricity, um, and you have to dial it at the same time as you pull it out in the length of time. So it's it's very tricky to get that gradient. It's not easy, and and to actually have it this smooth, it's absolutely insane. Uh, and like I said before, Adam Heibel does an incredible job um, getting these blades done, getting these handles done. I mean, the the work, the the attention to detail, the fit and finish is absolutely second to none right there. And uh, not only do we have the plain blade versions. But we also have some that he has done some etching on, and these things are fantastic. So look at that blade etch right there. This is still with that RWL 34 steel, and uh, this stuff is absolutely beautiful. Also, I want to note, you can see right there inside the handle. I don't, hopefully I can get you. Let's go top down. Let's go top down. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get around to that. And I, I gave a shout-out to a bunch of them earlier. So we got the Made in USA right there on the inside of the handle, uh, laser-etched right there. A really cool feature. Again, something that you don't have to do, but uh, Adam Heibel has done. And um, I think it's just absolutely beautiful. He does an amazing job with these. And uh, I really can't say enough about that. We've got Dwayne Insano. we got Rusty Knife Lover. We got Dwayne Letterman. We got David Iverson. Um, we got Marcos Gamma. Gamma is in there. Yeah. <coughs> David. We got David Iverson. We got Jason Brown. We got JB Big Red EDC. Um, we got Christopher Shane on Facebook. We got Pete Jiggs, George Oles. We got David. Yeah. We got Barbara McDowell. We got uh, Steve Dice. We got Christopher Shane Henry. So a lot of people joining us. We're going to keep going through all of these different blade finishes and, and handle finishes here. So uh, we've actually got some uh, really, really cool finishes on these. We're going to go back to camera two. So this is another Damascus pattern right here with this RWL 34 blade steel. Absolutely beautiful uh, etch pattern right there. Um, just gorgeous. And uh, got the nice... Uh, I guess you would call that bead blast finish on the 6AL4V titanium handles right there. And like I said before, folks, these things are insanely smooth. Now, this one is really cool. Very blacked out and uh, really cool look to it. Just looks mean. Looks like a reaper. And uh, especially with that blade shape, it just looks super intense. Now, I'm going to go ahead, while I'm showing you guys these, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that these are uh, enabled on our website right now with no... Uh, sh not showing any stock. So when you pull these up on our website, they're gonna be they're gonna show out of stock. That's because I have them here in my hands, so they can't fulfill orders if I've got them in my hands. Um, <laughs> that's just the way it is. Um, but these are gonna go live on our website in one week, a week from today, on Thursday, the fifth. Thursday the fifth. Okay, Thursday the fifth. What time is that, Greg? 11 a.m., Thursday the 5th. Yeah, I know they're showing out of stock because they're in my hands. So that's a really cool, really cool tiger stripe pattern right there on that blade. And uh, really cool cloud pattern almost on, uh, on that handle right there. Let's take a look at that one top down. Really cool cloud pattern on that, uh, on that handle right there. Really digging that. And like I said before, all of these uh, were made. They've got the born on date. They were made in February, 
and um, they are the menace. Each one of them uh, actually has their certificate of authenticity. So you'll notice this one in particular has the number 27 right there. It's certificate of authenticity. Also has the number 27 right there. When it was made, the model, and all of the specifications, where it was made, Fort Wayne, Indiana. That's where Adam is located, and um, he does an incredible job on these. Um, just absolutely beautiful. Now, as far as price goes, these are going to vary in price depending on the finish, depending on how difficult the finish was. So, um, the they're starting at seven eighty five, and going up to eight fifteen. I think it was. Yes, eight fifteen. So some of them are eight oh five. Some of them are um, seven eighty five to eight fifteen. So um, it really depends on the finish and how difficult that finish is to do because some of these are extremely difficult. You'll notice uh, some of these have gradient patterns, some of them have cloud patterns, some of them are plain finish. Um, so this one right here is an example of one right there. We'll take a look at that one up close. Nice stone wash finish across the board on that one right there and uh, just absolutely gorgeous. These things are beautiful. We got Mrs. C joining in on, uh, on YouTube there. Um, we got KC from Knives Fast. We got Dueno Insano. I love that name, Dueno Insano. I think that's awesome. Um, yes, I did. I did mention Rusty Knife Lover earlier. Um, still got Big Red EDC with us. We got Doug Roll in with us on Facebook. Max Garner, Wayne Rose, Bobby Runyon. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you everybody for joining us. This one's another really cool looking one. So we had another black one that was a little bit different. Um, these two are slightly different from each other uh, in their finish, um, but absolutely beautiful look right there. Love that uh, stonewash black finish on that one right there. And uh, we've also got another one that is a polished finish right here. That one is gorgeous. So I'm going to flip it open and try to keep from hitting anything. Um, and again, another really cool aspect of all Adam Heibel's knives are the, uh, is the grind work out here. So you'll notice the, the grind transition right there. You can see the swedge on top. Um, you can see the scoop right there. You can see the tanto shaped blade. You can see where the grind transitions. And it, I mean, just that detail right there, I think is absolutely beautiful. And that's something that a lot of people don't talk enough about. And, and not just the fact that it's done, but how difficult it is to do that. It's not, it's not something that you can just send a machine to do. Um, it, it has to be done just right. This is another really cool one. So uh, this has got the uh, satin finish with the gold accents. We're going to take a look at that one as well. <coughs> really cool look on that one right there. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, really, really digging these. So we got the gold accent there. We've got this one with the blue accent on the inside. Stonewash finish on the outside. Stonewash blade. We've got this one that's really cool. So this one's got kind of a gradient to it. As you turn it, it kind of changes colors. It kind of looks purple in some places, blue in other places. I mean, this is just absolutely awesome. Let's see. Uh, Rock Blast 80 seconds. SMKW is way better than Disneyland. <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you, buddy. Carl Maxwell's in with us. Shout out to Carl. And uh, we've got another one here with the uh, tiger stripe, and this one's really cool because it's got the uh, black handles. I think that thing looks absolutely sick right there. Absolutely sick. Phenomenal job. <coughs> another one, we've got another cloud pattern here, but this one's a little bit different color. So this one kind of in hand and in person looks like it changes from blue to purple in some spots and kind of like a, a grayish uh, gold in other spots. Really cool look right there, again, with the tiger stripe on the polished blade. So that's another thing that he does. He does different finishes on the blade along with the etching, so it gives you a different look. And that's a, that's a good thing to note. So this is one of the tiger stripes right here. This is the other tiger stripe right here, but with a polished blade. So you can see the difference right there. You can see how shiny one is, and one's the stone wash. So... Uh, you can see how different those two are and the different feel and the different look that it gives. Then um, we've also got this rainbow one right here. This one's really cool. 
Really dig that. It's got a very 80s feel. Really takes me back to my childhood. I, I love that thing right there. But we don't want to talk about that, Craig. We're not talking about my childhood because that was a long time ago, and I don't remember that far back. Um, I've slept since then. And drank whiskey. So here we are. We've got this one. This one's really cool. So, yes, and had donuts. Yes, I know I've put on weight. And that's another thing we can talk about. So there's been some of you out there in the comments that have been really sassy about my weight, making comments about my shirt sizes, and you didn't make comments before. That's because I put on a little bit of weight. I know that. I can't afford to go out and change my wardrobe, my entire wardrobe, just because I put on a few pounds. So, yeah, I still wear the same shirts that I did then, even though I put on a little bit of weight. I can tell you this, though, I am not going to be offended by those because my weight gain does not actually bother me. Uh, I, don't, I don't have a problem with it. Now, um, uh, I'm, I'm kind of where I want to be-ish. Uh, I would like to be a little bit lighter, but maybe. We'll see. We'll see if I can uh, get that under control and uh, not eat so many Little Debbies um, and ice cream. So this one's really cool also. It's got the, uh, the satin finish on the outside with the, uh, with the cutouts being green right there. Really love that one. And it seems like the color for the last couple of years has been purple. And so I think this one's going to go really quickly. Um, so this one's got the purple finish on the handle right there. And then uh, the polish finish on the blade right there. Absolutely gorgeous. We'll take a look at that one up close. Beautiful, beautiful finish work on these. Um, <laughs> thank you, Jason Brown. Jason loved the 80s as well. Thank you. I appreciate that, buddy. <laughs> it's all right, Knives Fast. I'm I'm used to it now. You know, I get I get made fun of about everything and anything that uh, someone can. Yes, my hair, my face, my yeah. So uh, this one's really cool as well. So I want to show you this one up close. So we showed you the one that was black all over. This one has the uh, black handle and the black finish on the blade, except where it's ground. So this one was finished that way and then ground, whereas one, say, like this one was ground and then finished. So you can see the difference right there in the grind work. The only thing that uh, wasn't finished on this one was the bevel, the, f uh, the final bevel there. Um, so really, really cool knives. That's all of them. So that's 20 of those um, from Adam Heibel, 20 of those brand new knives from Adam Heibel. Yes, sir. Dave Edwards? Okay. Uh, what little Debbie's do you like? I like the Swiss rolls. That's a good choice, uh, Dave. Um, I'll be honest with you. Uh, it's really difficult to choose a favorite. Um, I would have to say my favorite all around are the Christmas tree cakes. No, I didn't. No, we never had it in stock here. We never had the ice cream in stock here. But the Christmas tree cakes, the chocolate, and the white are my favorites overall. Um, I also do kind of like the zebra cakes as well. Um, so, and I've actually got some of the new zebra cake donuts. I just haven't tried them yet. Um, but yeah. Thank you, Marcos Gamma. I appreciate that, buddy. Thank you so much. The 80s were fun. The 80s were a great time. Um, uh, I mean, I was a bit of a nerd. I, I still am. Um, but I was definitely a nerd. Played uh, Dungeons & Dragons. And was all into that stuff. And hair bands. Um, yeah, we can't give one of these away. So I just showed you all 20 of these. These are going to be available and each one of them is individual. We don't have duplicates of any of these. So we've got 20 of them. All of them are different. They're going to be available next week, Thursday, the 5th, at 11 a.m. Eastern. Eastern, Eastern, because that's what time zone we're in. Um, so that is all of those. Um, and we've always got some new stuff coming up. Like I said, we've got some new products that we're working on getting into the store. We've got uh, new things coming out all the time. We've got some new Rough Riders coming very, very soon, including new Rough Rider Reserves. Um, I tell you what, I've been, I've been carrying my class for now for a while and uh, really digging that thing. Um, yeah, loving that one. Loving that one. So. 
Awesome. Yeah. So JB just did a video on the Triple R 13 and 14? 14, 14 and 15. That's what I thought. Yeah, 14 and 15. Go check that out. Um, Big Red EDC. Um, check him out on YouTube and find that review that he did on the Triple R 14 and 15. Um, really, really digging those things. And we've got some more Triple R's coming out very soon. So stay tuned for that as well. Um, before we go, uh, are there any questions? Um, <coughs> Yes, uh, Casey, D and D uh, Dungeons and Dragons has made a huge comeback with kids these days. I want to say it's due uh, uh, largely in part to Stranger Things. That has done a huge job for that. There's also been uh, people, uh, friends of mine that I know that started playing again and um, do it every week with their with their buddies. So um, let's see. I'll probably order one. Free shipping on most orders, seventy five dollars in the bank. So uh, we do have free shipping on the. Order seventy five dollars and above. What? Okay. Huh. I, didn't get up close. <sighs> I showed you up close. Trust me. Very true. All right. Just tiny. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. C. I appreciate that. I have been a nerd my entire life. I absolutely have. That is not changing today. Um. So, folks, uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Um. If not, we are yes. Uh. Same, JB. We are anxiously awaiting that Barlow. Um, and we're super stoked about that one. Um, JB, we may have numbers like 13 and things like that. Prop Blast, 82nd. When will you get more Case Texas Jacks? We are waiting on those. Uh, on. We've got a lot of things that are on order right now. Um, no firm ETA on those. Everyone's dealing with issues as far as uh, materials trying to come in. So um, we got a lot of stuff like that. So. Um, Let's see. Adventure League at local stores has made a big difference. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> when will we get more Boku? So, uh, Blade Show. Um, I know uh, I will be there for sure. Um, as of right now, Isaac's planning on being there. Uh, Greg might be there as well. Don't know. We'll see. It depends on if he behaves. Um, so that's a that's a tall that's a tall ask right there in a tall order. So um, guys, stay tuned. We've got some really great content. Knife Show Twenty is going to drop tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, four p.m. That Knife Show Twenty, we've got a special guest on that one. So check that out. It's going to be me and a special guest. Um, so you are more than welcome to. Uh, guess who that might be um parker hello from nearby knoxville excited for blade atlanta absolutely parker we will see you there be sure to come up and introduce yourself uh we would love to meet you we always love seeing our fans um i said last week uh, Dwayne sewell um from clanton alabama came by the store uh i got a call went down got a picture with him talked to him for about 20 minutes we love meeting all of you out there and, and meeting our fans meeting the people that that watch and support the channel. We really appreciate that. Without you guys, we would not be able to do that. So um, we really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. And um, tell you what, just remember, if it cuts, we carry it. Yeah.